I don't know if some of you haven't been paying attention, but there's been alerts for TennoCon 2022, Gift of the Lotus, and there's been alerts from July 11th to the 15th, where it's going to start at 11 a.m., and that's how it's been starting for all of these. So, 11 a.m. is here. It's July 15th. Which, this is what I've been waiting for this whole entire time, and I don't really don't care about any of these. Might get this. This has already passed for me, so I can't get that. This is still here at the moment for just a little bit. This is going to be a little bit pre-recorded, so this is still here for a little bit. And um, this is finally here. This is what I've been waiting for, a Umber Former Blueprint. Exactly what I've been waiting for. I literally been waiting for only that. The three formas is pretty cool. I might do that. The Eidolon shards didn't even see that it said five times that for the Eidolon. The brilliant Eidolon shards. That's cool. I might actually have to go pick that up. The Exodus weapon adapter, I really don't care about. Then the Roken the Catalyst, I really don't care about as well. There's something called Norse Choices, which I can just always purchase them from there. I really don't care. But Umber Forma. That's what I've been waiting the most for because these are very, very rare. They don't get hit in Warframe so not all the time. It's always a weekly rotation for, uh, there's a weekly rotation in Tessian's uh, rewards and this comes around like eight weeks. So it's not like it's a, you know, a common thing to always get in Warframe. Not most of the time. It might be slightly, but not most of the time. It's pretty much hard to get your hands on this. And the only way you can is through Tessian or whenever they throw up alert for, you know, trying to surprise you. Or maybe it's just, uh, you know, through like your dev streams. That's also another way they usually do it too. So, yeah, this is what I've been waiting for. Let's go see what the alert is. And it finally has appeared. It's a defense mission. The Umbra Forma Blueprint. This is Blueprint, as it says in the word. So, that means that you're going to have to need one Forma, one Neuroid, 500 Kuva, and 1,100 Nanospores. So, as always, when it comes down to these defense missions, they last to, what, 20 waves? To maybe 10 waves to 20 waves? It does piss me off <laughs> i just hate defense missions i really really do but we gotta get this in the bag so bring in the perfect warframe and the perfect warframe for a defense mission we gotta bring Saren. you already know i had to bring Saren because Saren is perfect for this and i got a great build for her as well so 10 waves going on here as you see I thought it was going to be 20 because defense missions usually come down to that. But it might be in a different case if we're talking about defending an operator. I think that's where it comes down to being 20 waves. However, this is not going to be too bad. So, and great. Somebody's already leaving. But you know what? Since I have the PS5, it doesn't kick me out of my party. So, or kick me out the mission technically. That's what it always does. But I hate that. I hate when people do that shit, man. I swear to God, I hate when people do that. So I don't really like squads. Like, I, I really do hate squads. Finally entering closing on this. I am very getting much tired of this. And this is why I hate defense missions. We are actually coming to an end. Very, very soon on the last wave. Definitely take Saren because this will speed right through it, pretty much. And, um, yeah. Hate defense missions, but Saren's pretty much good for this. I mean, she's just powerful. She's damn near meant for this type of stuff. And if I probably haven't been shown a build on my Saren build, then I will probably do one for you guys. If you want to know what's on it. Or how the bell layup is set up and stuff. And I don't know why this guy turned on the lasers and stuff. But this dummy over here is like. That's why I don't like people in my squads. 
swear. Come on. And that is a wrap on this. Umbraforma is now in my possession. You're basically going to be crafting it in your foundry. And then that's pretty much just it. Make sure you have a former blueprint ready for the Umbra former to be crafted. 500 Kuva again, one neuroids, 1,100 nanospores. So, it takes 24 hours just like every former blueprint. That takes 24 hours. That takes 24 hours. Ooh, and I have one. And I have another blueprint. That's great. So, yeah. And if you haven't done the rest of your um, other things like the gift of the lotuses, you are still able to do, oh, and it ended right on time as the, I guess, the cool, I'm sorry, not the Kuva, the Umbra former came up because I did not see them there. So, yeah, if you missed out on those, then sorry, but they're all gone now because the Umbra former blueprint was on time at 11 a.m and not only that but i noticed they disappear i literally <laughs> did not even realize that they disappeared i literally only looked at the Umar former that's how much i wanted it so yep that is over with and the Umar former is a defense mission so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel follow me on all social medias and twitch links are in the description Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.